Have you ever been walking in August or September and noticed a tree with a few scattered red leaves? You may have thought, that's weird, because obviously it is still way too early for the leaves to be turning colors. This is true for many trees, but not all. And what you may be looking at is a tree called black gum a tree that is worth getting to know for anyone in the eastern United States that is interested in planting native trees for pollinators and wildlife. Black gum, Nyssa sylvatica, is also commonly called black tupelo or sour gum and is native to most of the eastern half of the United States. It loves full sun but can grow in part shade as well. It's also not picky about soils and can grow in a wide range of soil types and moisture levels and can handle some flooding and even drought. While it can grow up to 100 feet tall, a height of 30 to 50 feet is more normal under cultivated conditions. The conical to oval shaped crown can spread 20 to 30 feet. Black gum is an easy tree to overlook most of the year because the dark green glossy leaves look like generic leaves and the bark looks like generic bark. It is an attractive tree, but it just doesn't stand out as unique. That is until the early fall. In Kentucky, I typically start seeing the first red leaves appear on black gum sometime in August. At first, it is just a few scattered leaves, but eventually the whole tree will turn a brilliant, deep scarlet red. One hypothesis for the early fall color is that it might help birds and other wildlife know that the fruits are starting to ripen. Black gum flowers bloom in the late spring from April to June, depending on location. The flowers form in clusters and are small, creamy white, and easy to overlook. Most trees will either produce mostly male flowers or mostly female flowers, but they both may have a few perfect flowers scattered throughout. Perfect flowers have both male and female parts. And as you would expect, only the female and perfect flowers will produce fruit. The fruits ripen in late summer or early fall and are a dark bluish black berry-like droop that is approximately half an inch long. If you are finding the information in this video useful, make a beeline and pollinate that like button. All kinds of bees are highly attracted to the flowers. In fact, both black gum and its close cousin, the water tupelo, Nyssa aquatica, are considered important honey trees in many areas. Black gum is a host for several species of moths, including the awesome and ghostly luna moth. Black gum fruits are highly nutritious and are sought after by a wide range of birds, including turkeys, robins, woodpeckers, mockingbirds, brown thrashers, thrushes, and many others. They are an important food source for songbirds preparing for the fall migration. Small mammals that can get to the fruits will also devour them. The fruits are also edible, barely, as they are extremely sour and bitter. Not my cup of tea, kind of like the Sour Patch Kids in Tonic Water had a baby. Your mileage may vary. Young black gum seedlings and foliage are a preferred browse of deer. In areas with high deer densities, this can make it difficult to successfully grow black gums in more landscape settings and can lead to it being almost eliminated from some natural settings. However, as the tree matures, the foliage becomes less palatable and deer tend to leave it alone at that point. As black gum trees get older, they will often develop heart rot and become hollow. However, their wood is very strong and they can remain standing and live for many years even if they are hollow. Once they are hollow, they develop even greater wildlife value. Owls and other cavity nesting birds, raccoons, bats, and a wide range of other animals will use the hollow trees for shelter. Historically, hollow black gum logs were also cut into sections called bee gums and used to house honeybee colonies. Black gum trees have many characteristics that make them excellent for yards and landscaping. It tends to produce a single straight trunk that has branches coming off at almost perfect right angles, which make the tree less likely to split or develop cross branches that cause rot issues. This growth characteristic also makes it aesthetically pleasing in landscape situations. Black gum's brilliant fall color adds to its aesthetic value and is the main reason this tree is used in landscapes. Although black gum is native throughout most of the eastern United States, how much fall color an individual plant displays and exactly when it occurs can vary. This is a species where it is highly recommended to obtain a local genotype if possible, as it will have the best fall color for your location. Most native plant nurseries won't care if you ask where the genetic stock of their trees came from. I also recommend the straight wild type species, but if you don't have a native plant nursery near you and can't find the straight species, then there are cultivars available through the traditional horticulture trade. Black gum makes a great specimen tree or shade tree. However, they can be slow growing, and like I mentioned before, young saplings and foliage are a preferred browse for deer. If you know you have a high deer population in your area, you will need to protect the tree for its first few years. 
Since black gum can get tall with a wide crown spread, you will also want to make sure to keep it clear of power lines and buildings. Maybe you are looking for a smaller tree with showy blooms and still want the great red fall color with a bonus of super tasty fruit. Then you may find this video on service berries helpful and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.